Hi, I'm Pete DeFazio. I'm with Half Body Warehouse, and today in our how to video series, what we're going to show you is how to replace the dome light triggers on your 1970 1981 Camaro or Trans Am. What these switches do is they mount the door jam of your 1970 1981 Camaro or Trans Am, and they, when you open the door, um, the button will then depress opens a circuit and it makes it so that the dome light or the under dashboard lights in your car will light up. Now what we have is we have a 1981 Trans Am here and our dome light isn't working properly. So being this is such an easy fix we're going to go ahead and swap these out and see if this cures our issue. Now what you're going to need to do the job is a deep well 716 socket and you can use a, a regular driver, a smaller driver. We're using a smaller driver with a couple extensions. On the driver's side, you have a two wire lead. That means two wires attached to the dome light trigger. On the passenger side, only one wire attaches to the dome light trigger. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and remove our factory triggers. What you need, like I said, it's going to be that 716. We're going to slip in here. And it simply unscrews. Now as you pull it out, what you want to do is kind of be gentle. And you're not going to get a lot of room to work with there. You get about a quarter inch or so. So once you get it pulled, you're going to go ahead and wiggle on the wires and they will come free. Now one thing to notice here on this, um, and it's a little helpful tip that we did, is we've taken a piece of tape and we've put it around each one of the wires. And the reason we've done that is, if for some ungodly reason that wire falls back into the hull of the car, you're gonna be in a world of hurt. You're gonna have to end up pulling the kick panel and, and doing a lot of nightmare work um, when it's unnecessary. Just wrap each wire in a piece of tape and leave a long pigtail on each wire uh, from the tape and this way even if it does slip in a little bit you're going to be able to fish it right back out. As you see we've slid our one contact on and now we're going to slip our other contact on. And push them tight on. And give them a little squeeze with your finger. And as you can see, the plastic retainer keeps the wire separated. At this point, our tape has served its purpose. Pop your tape off. Make sure your contacts are on good. You're going to slide the unit back inside the car. We've got it slipped back in. Now we're just going to take our ratchet and go ahead and tighten it right back down. We're here on the other side and we've uninstalled the factory unit and disconnected the wire. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to slip the wire on the new unit and screw this one back in also. Go ahead and make it nice and snug and you're installed.